Okay, so I'm in Azure portal now, and the very first thing I would like to create is a resource group. As we know, the purpose of resource group is to organize resources for better management and delegation. So I will go to resource group and click add. And the source group name, I would say IT Sense RG resource group and create. And the resource group is in the process of getting created. And I think it's done. Yep. And after the source group, what I would like to create next is a virtual network. And if I go back to my domain controller, for example, if you see this sheet, this is the plan that on-prem network this is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and my DC domain controller, which is this machine, DC is 192.168.1.200 and Azure DR network will be 172.161.0 slash 24 and the DC2, the second domain controller, which I will provision in Microsoft Azure network, will have an IP address from 172.161.x, right? So let's go back to Azure. And this time I would create a virtual network and click add. Name, I would say Azure DR. Although it won't totally be DR, but, uh, or let's, let me see Azure network. That would be better. And, and Address space, I would say 172.16.0.0 slash 16. And I would like this network to be inside this resource group. And within this network, I would like to create a subnet. So I will say DR subnet 1 subnet 1 and address range the subnet will be 1.0 slash 24 basic distributed denial of service protection is fine firewall is disabled and I would say I would click create and this virtual network will be created. Right now, deployment in progress. And let's refresh, hopefully, yeah, here it is. Azure network, 172.16.0.0. Okay, so we have created resource group. We have created this uh, virtual network. Now, few things needs to be done. Uh, First, we need to create virtual network gateway, which will be a network gateway for VPN at the Azure side, and local network gateway, which will define the network gateway for VPN at on-prem location, and then we will create a connection object. So let's start off with virtual network gateways first. So I will say add a virtual network gateway and I will here Azure network gateway. Gateway type is VPN. I will choose route based VPN. And here we have different types offered in different type of plans, Q basic, standard, and high performance. Um, so I will choose basic, it's fine with me. And for virtual network, 
and where the gateway is going to be the gateway is going to be at the virtual network the uh, part of which will be part of this azure network and the gateway subnet here i can define the subnet for a gateway i would like to choose usually it's a good idea and, and I, I usually tends to go this way that i like to create a last subnet for gateway so 162.16.254.0 public IP address and uh, this will be internet facing because this gateway will be used for creating SSL uh, oh, sorry IPsec tunnel between uh, my on-prem device uh, my on-prem routing and remote access server uh, and this one they both divide they will create IPsec tunnel so public IP address is required I don't have any so I will create a new and assignment all good free trial location is fine source group and say create oh sorry the name of the IP address so I will say Azure gateway public IP one and create and now the deployment is in progress while it's in progress let's create no oh, let's define local network gateway uh, but before we create local network gateway um, we need to get we need to know few things and one of the thing is the public IP address on on-premise network. So let me get those details and I will back.